What's up guys, Learning with Rich here. In this exercise, we're going to import a DWG file to a drafting view and then we're going to edit the drawing details. Okay, so let's do this. So the first thing that we're gonna do, we're going to create a drafting view. So let's go to the view tab and then let's select here drafting view. Let's click that and then let's specify the name here. So I'm going to call this brace connection. And then for the scale, I'll just select here 1 is to 20, like that, and then I'll just select here OK. So notice that the drafting view is an empty 2D view. So if you check out the drafting views here from the project browser, there's our drafting view. OK, so to define the line weight settings before importing the drawing file, so let's go to the Insert tab and then Import Panel. So I'm going to click this arrow to show the dialog launcher for the import line weights okay so if you have a line weight set up so you just need to select load and then after that you just need to select the te uh, text document of that so just select that one and then after that select here okay and then you will now be able to see here the settings of that uh, line weights so you will notice here my color number five here it is set to for line weight okay which is uh, more or less equivalent to 0 0.018 inches or 0 0.3048 millimeters in the new drafting view scale okay so i'll just select your okay to use that um text line weight file so i'm just going to select your okay now we are ready to import our cad drawing so to do that again from the import tab so let's select your import CAD. Okay, so I'll be selecting the AutoCAD drawing. So that's a DWG file. And then I'm going to make that black and white, all layers, auto detect, and then the positioning is auto center to center. Okay? Open. Right. So I'm just going to zoom in here. So you will notice here that the leader lines in the drawing file retain their defined line weight when imported to Revit. So as specified before importing the DWG file, the line weight is for, for elements on layers with a blue color. That's why you will notice here the, the grid lines and break lines in the import symbol are slightly thicker than the leader lines you see this one that one is slightly thicker than our leader lines here and much thicker than the other lines all right okay so now the next thing that we will be doing is i'm going to edit the dwg file so to do that i'm going to open the visibility graphic overrides Okay, and then you can go to the imported categories and then you can modify from here. Or let's say, for example, you do not want to use the layer 0 and then the layer depth points. Okay, you can remove that. So how to delete layers in your AutoCAD. So just click your AutoCAD drawing or your import symbol. And then after that, from the import instance, you can select here, delete layers. So click that one and then you can now select here the layers to delete. Let's say zero and depth points. I don't need that. So I'm going to select here OK. And it's now deleted. So going back to the visibility graphic overrides, you check the imported categories here and notice that the zero and depth points layer is now uh, removed from the list here. Okay, so let's say, for example, I want to modify the lines representing the edges of the steel members, like, for example, these edges here, right? So I want to modify that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the steel edge and then the steel SCT, hold control to select both, and then select your override. Okay, so for the pattern, I'm not going to change that, but for the color, I'm going to make that uh, black and then for the line weight, I'm going to make it uh, 4. Okay, 
and then I select here OK. So as you can see, it's now modified here. Right, so after that, I'm now going to select here OK. And there you go. See, it now becomes thicker. So before, if I'm going to undo that, it looks like this, right? So after I change it, so I'm going to redo, so it now looks like this. So the line weights for lines representing the edges and section of the steel member are now modified. Okay, now let's say, uh, for example, I'm just going to zoom, in, zoom into this area. So I'm going to select now my import symbol again. Another thing that you can do on your import symbol is that you can also explode it. Okay, so you can explode, which is, this is not a best practice. So I don't recommend you to explode or inserting drawing file in your Revit project and then after that explode it because it will really uh, mess up with the size of your Revit model. So this is just an exercise or telling you that you can, you can do this in Revit, like importing your AutoCAD drawing and then using it as your uh, detail view and modifying it. Okay, but this is not the best practice. As much as possible, I just do it all in Revit. Anyway, I'm going to select my AutoCAD drawing and then here from the import instance. Okay, so there is this tool that is called Explode. So there is a full Explode. Okay, so I'm going to select full Explode. If you do that, you will now be able to modify each element in your drawing C. So there is no more uh, import symbol. So they are now break into pieces. Okay, so the DW detail disassembles into Revit line and text elements. So Revit automatically creates line styles for each of the layers in the uh, DWG file and assigns line weights based on the settings established in the import line weights dialog box prior to importing the DWG file. And another thing, Revit also creates new next types or new types based on the text properties from the DWG file. Okay? Now, I'm going to zoom in here. Right? So, let's say I'm going to select this one. So, let's check out the properties of that. So, that one, the name of that is, or the, the line style now is, SSTL um, Edge. So the name of the line style appears in our uh, type selector or here on our uh, instance properties. Okay. So that's our uh, text. You can click that and then you can click the drop down arrow here if you want to change that. Right. See, you can, you can change it. Right? So another thing that you can do to modify your um, AutoCAD drawing, you can go to the Manage tab and then on our uh, settings here. So there's the additional settings. So you can click that and then you can go to the line styles. So you can select line styles and then you can expand that. So you will be able to see here the line style that Revit automatically creates after you explode the AutoCAD drawing. So like for example, for the steel edge, this one. So I'm going to change that to 4 to make it thicker. Okay, that's it. And then after that, I'm going to select OK. There you go. So now it becomes thicker again because a while ago, after we explode it, it becomes a zero line weight. Right? Although we already changed that a while ago from the visibility graphic overrides when the AutoCAD is not yet exploded. But after it was exploded, it becomes single line weight again. That's why we need to go to the additional settings, line styles, and modify here the line weight of that particular uh, layer. Okay? And then I'll just select your OK. Now, another thing is that you can change the exploded AutoCAD text to a standard Revit font. Okay, so like for example, um, this one, as you can see, it's exploded into separate uh, text, right? So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click this and then so the uh, this uh, text style automatically created by Revit. 
after you explode it. So I'm going to change that to standard text height of 2mm Arial, like that. And then maybe I'm just going to type it here, like uh, 2. All right. So to develop brace force, then click outside. And then I'm going to change it. It should be here, middle, middle, like that. Then I'll just delete this, this one. All right. And then click this one, like that, just to tidy up our drawing. Okay. So you can do that to the other text here in your drawing. So basically, that's how you use your AutoCAD drawing. If you have a details in AutoCAD and then you want that to be inserted or imported in Revit, so this is how you do it. So this is just the basic way. So of course, you can explore more on your uh, detail view. So hopefully, you learned something from this video. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.